Uh, these are extraordinary times. NVIDIA reinvented computing for the first time in 60 years. The year after my birth was the announcement of the IBM System 360. The IBM System 360 led IBM to become the largest company in the world. You recalled in the late 60s, IBM's market cap was the highest in the world. They remained the largest company in the world for well over a decade. The computers that we know today are essentially the same. Central processing units, operating systems, the separation of software and hardware, I.O. subsystem, multi-generational compatibility. All of the words that we use today to describe the computer was exactly described in 1964. It also happened to be the year that the video conferencing device from AT&T was shown at the World's Fair. That was a good year. It was a good year for technology. In 1993, <clears throat> together with the founders of NVIDIA, we started to create a new way of doing software, a new way of doing computing. We thought that there would be a large number of domains where parallel processing, doing things in parallel instead of sequentially, would be quite profitable. Most code is still written in sequence because when people write a recipe, write software, describe a sequence of tasks, we think sequentially. However, a small part of the software can be done in parallel. That small little part of the software actually represents most of the computing time. And so we came to the conclusion that maybe we can create a new type of computing architecture called accelerated computing. And it took us 30 years to get to today. Every single day, we worked on making it better. And so we suffered for a long time, waiting for that day. And eventually that day came. 2012, BAM! This incredible new piece of software called Deep Learning achieved the greatest result of computer vision. Understanding how to recognize and understand images is a form of intelligence, basic intelligence. In 2016, I introduced a new machine, a machine that the world had never seen before. I called it DGX1. I introduced it to the world, and I thought, 1964 has returned. I'm going to introduce this machine to the world, and everybody's going to place purchase orders, and everybody would be so excited. And I introduced it to the world, and my audience sounds exactly like this. No one understood what I was saying. No one placed orders. DGX1 was announced to the world on that day, 2016, at GTC. Well, there was happened. There was somebody at the at the event at the conference with me, a friend of mine. His name was Elon Musk. As I was leaving the stage, he was still in the back. And he says, "Jensen, I need one of those." And I was thinking, "Oh my goodness, fantastic! I can sell some." I hand delivered the first DGX1 to a company in San Francisco. It was a nonprofit company. I carried it upstairs, okay? It was 300 pounds, and I delivered it to them. And all of the scientists, they all gathered. All of my favorite people, they all gathered. And that company was OpenAI. Then in year 2022, ChatGPT came out. And bang, everything took off. What everybody saw was computer vision. Unbelievable. What a breakthrough. We did it. Computer vision. We broke computer vision. That was a huge ach achievement. We could use it for all kinds of things. But I saw something very different. Well, it turns out there are several ways you can think about artificial intelligence. The first part, of course, is the technology is quite surprising. It's intelligent. And so you don't have to learn how to program a computer anymore. This is going to close the technology divide. But the fact of the matter is most people don't know how to use it. Most people don't know how to program it. But now you have ChatGPT. You have a computer. If you don't know how to use ChatGPT, you just tell ChatGPT, I don't know how to use you. How do I use you? And ChatGPT will explain it to you. What would you like to do? And because we now have the ability to reason, reasoning, as you know, the, the uh, uh, basis of intelligence to break down a problem step by step, maybe simulate the future, maybe weigh, weigh options, and maybe do some research, inform yourself, before you come up with a good plan. Intelligence is based on reasoning. Now we have AI models that can reason. Now why is that so important? Not only is it easy to use ChatGPT now, you can even give it a goal. 
So AI is this incredible technology. It can see, it can understand, it can generate content, it can read, it can read information from a PDF, from a website, it can watch a video and describe it to you. It'll watch a video for you, which is really nice. I love it. I just asked the AI to watch the podcast and summarize it for me. Now you can ask it all kinds of questions. It did research. It's now smarter. Everything I described is true. And pretty soon, AL is going to be even smarter. It will transform healthcare, education, transportation, manufacturing, financial services. Oh my gosh, it's going to transform financial services.